What's happening, bro chachis? It's been a while since I've seen you on this side of the camera. But before we start today's video here at Epic BMX, I wanted to give a big shout out to our new sponsor, Ridge Wallets. It's the best place to keep all your personal credit cards, debit cards, and even cash. I keep everything right here in a nice little RFID secure wallet. Push everything back in there. Fits in your pocket really nicely. And for you guys out there that subscribe to the channel, you'll be getting a special opportunity to buy this for a big discount. So make sure to hit ridge.com backslash Alfredo Mancuso. And if you use the promo code Alfredo Mancuso, you'll be able to save 10% off your purchase. Who knows, I might even buy one for Foo, but I don't think he really likes credit cards. Anyways, let's get into today's video. You know, it's not easy doing your guys' stuff, man. Caffeine after the camera. You guys believe how many? Uh, how many of you guys could guess how many cups of this I have a day? I got to deal with this guy, deal with that guy, you know, deal with some of you guys. I'm fueled by this thing right here. Coffee, guys. All right. So remember, uh, first of all, I want to thank all you guys. You guys made a really great. Uh, Appearance, uh, not appearance, but a, a presence on the old school versus new school. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a step by step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a wheel. I'm going to I'm going to do a segment. I'm going to do a how to build a wheel. Okay, this is the way I've taught all these guys how to build a wheel. It's gonna you guys are gonna think it's crazy the way I'm doing it, but all these guys have learned how to do it. Actually, Ethan already knew how, but kind of polish a little. And from this wheel, guys, this modern wheel right here, free coaster, we are going to take this wheel and Max's old bike, you remember the old versus uh, new school, and we're gonna build up that Raspberry 87 GT Performer with pretty much all the parts that's on Max's bike, including this wheel. Just to, let, to kind of give you guys an idea of what is possible. Okay, guys, but you guys got to keep on getting that views up. Okay, because that's what makes me hype. That's what gets Alf coming here, get the coffee going, so me do it. Because if there's not enough, then why do it? Makes sense. So smash the like button. Okay, smash, smash, hit, hit, hit. Oh, no. You know? <laughs> so, one step at a time. So, the beginning of all that is going, I'm going to build the wheel for that. Why am I going to build a wheel for that? Is because the dropout on the 87, it is a 3 8. And this hub right here, it has a 3 8 female. I know some of you guys are going to go, oh, look, there, there is a 14. We'll take care of that when it gets to that point. I'll show you guys how. Okay, we're going to modernize that 87. Okay, so. Let's get with it. How to lace up a wheel with foo. One of the thing I want you guys to remember, if you guys look at all the wheels, there's X's all over the wheels. Okay, some of you guys follow me? Look at the wheel behind you, Al. Look at all those. Can you guys see X's? There's a bunch of little X's, a bunch of little crosses, okay? So we're gonna form an X. We're gonna form an X like this. The key thing I want you guys to remember is most of the wheels that are being built nowadays on a 20 inch, actually on almost all the bikes, is three cross. Some of you old school guys are four cross, some of you racer guys two cross, but majority is three cross. So we're gonna focus on three cross. If you're gonna three cross, that means the first spoke and that X is going to cross three different spokes. That one, one, two, three, three cross. So we're gonna three cross. You guys write this down, because we're gonna go back to it. I'm gonna quiz you guys. Three cross, first and six spokes. What the hell does that mean? You guys, first and six spokes, write that down. So, if you guys look at, there's a, one flange, two flange. I usually hold my flange like this so I can say this the top flange, bottom flange. Or vice versa, top flange, bottom flange. It doesn't matter, it's all the way you hold it. So right now, it's the drive side, I'm gonna consider that the top flange. What we're gonna do, we're gonna drop spokes down. 
We're gonna drop it straight down. Notice what I'm doing, guys. I skip. One, skip. One, skip. Okay? All the spokes, when they, when they cross, see how it has a little hook? One side goes like this, the other side goes up, and it crosses. It never crosses down, down, it crosses up, down, okay? But that's getting a little complicated, right? I kind of confused myself. So, you do that, but that's how I think some of the people is gonna teach you. No, I'm gonna go backward, guys. Remember, first and six spokes. One spoke, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the six one, you wanna go up. What does that mean? Look, this one went down, this one went up. See that, one on top, one on bottom. First and six, I'm gonna keep repeating that. What I'm gonna do with the first and six, I'm going to cross them. And look how I cross them. I don't just go like this, I bend it up. Now this is the key thing guys, I want you guys to look at this carefully. Look at how these things are even. You guys don't want it like this. See how it's all off? See how this side longer, this side shorter? Vice versa, you don't want it like this. So you want to first and six spoke cross and you want to twist it where it becomes even. Now that I have that, locate the valve stem. There's the valve stem. What I'm gonna do with the first and six, first and six spoke, make sure it's level. Valve stem, look at the hole right at the valve stem, right here. Notice there's, there's holes on top, holes on the bottom. We're gonna focus on the hole on top because why? We're working on the, the top flange. First and six spoke goes in here and in here. Put your, put your nipples in. Not nips, guys. Don't say nips, okay? And if you're gonna say nip, careful with that P. You don't want that P to be too sharp when you're saying nip, okay? That's offensive, it's nip. Real, real, real quick, okay? Okay, we get sensitive about that sharpness too. So there you got that, first and six. Now, you, can you guys kind of see the wheel forming? Now what, we do, what do we do again? Start again. Drop one spoke down, remember what I told you. One, skip, drop down. And then what? Six, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one's gonna go up. First and six. And then what I do, guys, I'm going to cross them. And then what do I do? Look, right when I cross it, it's pointing right at the hole. Okay, so we're gonna go in. Look at that guys, can you guys see it already? Again, somebody tell me where, right here? One, two, three, four, five, and the six would go up. I think some of you guys might be confused, but, but keep following me. Look, first six, and then what? Cross. I did that with one hand, guys. The many things I could do with one hand. <laughs> Why? Hey, did I? Was that a laugh? I read? <laughs> Damn! Look at that, guys. Can you guys see it already? Okay. First and six. So now watch. First and six. What? Go there. And then you're gonna cut. I could already start start seeing it. First and six. Cross. For the record, this isn't the way you taught me. Huh? This isn't the way you taught me. Um, you, you, you were a little bit different. You were a little different. You were a little bit more short bus. Oh, 
So I was a little bit slower with you. Okay. Okay. No, so you know what? Alf is right. There was another technique where I go, and in another, in another time, I'll go the other way, but the other way is a lot harder. But I tend to teach harder, so then when I go easier, you're like, boom, right away, you know. Okay? So you guys look at it. Why, is this easier? It's way easier, huh? Okay? So, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna keep going. You're gonna, you guys are gonna watch this thing materialize, okay? You know, I've been thinking, guys. I was thinking maybe, you know what? It all depends, it all depends on the outcome. We should do kind of like a seminar, you know? A seminar here where once in a while we get, you know, a group of people in and you know, we kind of do like a like a live, a live YouTube. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should Alf go and do that? You know, would you guys, would you guys uh, participate in it? Would you guys support it? You know, I mean, look guys, I mentioned it numerous amount of time. No, we're not getting rich off this. Alf got his own way of getting rich. I got my own way of getting, getting money. But you? I'm just kidding. I'm rich as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we do this because you know what? Like, we just feel like sometime when you when you get to a certain level, you know, you want to give back. You want to give back. There's a lot of there's a lot of shops out there that are doing the same thing. Good for them, you know. You know, everybody's got their own little feedback, but it's good that we're reaching out, doing that to the community. But that's something that I I I really like to see happen in the future is it's kind of do like 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 a little seminar but without without the support without the support we can't do that and how could you guys support you know what subscribe you know get people get people to go onto this channel and and uh, increase the views and stuff like that because and you know what I'm not gonna do this if there's only one or two people watching you know you know, support the shop. I know, you know, there's a lot of shops out there. They do this kind of stuff. You guys got to keep them alive and support them. Support them so they could be there for you. The center was badass. There was so much, like, bomb-ass fruit there and stuff. Really? Oh guys, gosh. that's how easy it is. What did I say about the spokes? Let me say it loud so I could hear it. The first and the six cross. First one either goes down or up. And the sixth one is the opposite and cross. As long as you do that and you get that, that cross and both of the spokes, both of the spokes you're crossing is straight. Not like this, not like this. You cross it and you twist, you twist this until this thing goes straight, automatically go into there. I'm gonna finish the other side. So now, some of you guys will be like, oh dude, that shit is easy, that stuff is easy. Believe it or not guys, the first side is always easy. The second side is hard. Why? It's because of this right here. The valve stem. Ooh, look guys. I made the mistake right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call myself out right there. This is a no-no. You never want this to cross the, the, the spoke. You always want the valve stem right here. See, even I make mistakes. I've never said I was perfect. But while I was talking, I forgot about that. So. Uh, I was gonna take a time out while I fix this and then I'll go back onto the other side and I'll show you guys how to figure that out. So, is it, would it be, would it be a copyright infringement if I go, well, we are back. No. No? Okay. Who, who can guess who that came from? Somebody. Comments. Comments. So, look, I got, guys, I fixed it. See the valve stem now? It's cleared. This is where it's supposed to be. I'm not saying the other way is not right, but if you're if you're building wheels and stuff like that, it's sacrilegious. You don't want to do that. You want it centered, like this. So now we're gonna go on the other side. Remember, I told you guys the other side is going to be the harder one. So this is this is where a lot of people make mistakes. Remember, I told you about the X. Here's the X. This and this. You want the X to be perfect. You want the X to be perfectly square. You don't want it like this. You don't want it like this. You want it to be perfectly square like this, level, right here. And how do you do that? Just make sure you look at it and you could, you could twist it. 
And look, see I twisted it, it's straight. Sometimes the nipples get stuck, you wanna push it down, twist it, now it's straight. Look at this, look at this X. It's square all the way down. Sometimes when people build it, it's a little off and then they'll go on and then all of a sudden one side's off. So now it's square, I'm ready to go. There's that valve stem again, guys. The key thing we want right now, remember what I told you about the valve stem. We don't want anything to intrude it. Here's the air, here's the valve stem. We don't want the spoke to be crossing it. We want it to go straight. So it's obviously, you wanna figure out where it goes. You put this right here, and look where it goes. It's pointing right there. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go down. Look at this, guys. What are we gonna do? It's stuck, no problem. You go like this. What well, I did, magic. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go right here, but then where does the other one go? What did I say, guys? First and six. Here's the first spoke. We're gonna go, it doesn't matter which way you go. But since this is going this way, we wanna we want cross it, right? So we're gonna go back this way. First and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Since this one is going down, this one is going to go up. Put it through this little hole right here. Go up. First and six. Do it even cross. Look how it's straight. Not like this. Not like this. Look how it's straight. Where does it line up? Look at those two holes. Straight. Where's the valve stem? Clear. It's not, it's not being obstructed by any spoke. So you there you go. You got your starter. First and sixth spoke. Did you guys, did you guys want me to do that again? How did I figure out where that is? All I did was I just put that right there. Not crossing it. We're gonna go straight and I'm just gonna pretend there's a nipple right there. And we're gonna drop this. Look, it goes right there. Either it might be it might have been this one. It might have been this one. But I, I think it was that one that's better, so I put it right there. Sometimes you put it there, then the six spoke will be over here, but then you're gonna see it's a little off. So it's on. And guess what? Back to that first and six. If you guys wanna build wheels, you guys gotta get with some one of these. A nipple driver. Not to be confused with a nip driver, right? I told you about that P. That sharp P. That sharp P, okay? But look guys, look. That X, it's it's square. One is not higher than the other. One is not sticking out, one is not sticking out. It is square. Some of you guys, a lot of time I teach you guys, you guys are always mistaken, guys. I don't get it, square. Square, this is square. See how straight and straight, not like this. Look. That X, it's square. This X right here, it's square. So, I'm gonna continue my first and sixth pattern. First, six cross. First, six cross. And then, we're gonna take another time out. I'm gonna go and do that because I don't think you guys wanna watch me go through all that. Guys, we are back. And look, there you have it. Lo and behold, Will is built. So now all it is, is we're gonna true this thing. So, um, let's go true it, no? You no? true, that'll uh, be it for the video. I'll go and true, so guys, first and six. First and six, cross. First one, drop down, six one goes up, cross. Or vice versa, first one goes up, six one goes down, cross, even cross and then find the two holes, pop it right in, and there you have it. I hope that helps. If there's any confusion, please comment what confused you, what kind of explanation I would make a lot easier because I am here for you guys, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and chew this thing, and guys, keep watching because this wheel is going to be put on that 87 Performer, and so with the rest of Max's bike, just to show you guys how how we can take an old bike, an old frame, and put on modern stuff, and what do what kind of tricks we need to do to make it work? All right, guys. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, dislike. Give me some comments, okay? Later, guys.